The first lesson is taken from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15 through 20. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, that I am commanding you today by loving the Lord your God, walking in his ways and observing his commandments, decrees and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are crossing you, that you, in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live loving the Lord your God, obeying him and holding fast to him. For that means life to you and length of days, so that you may live in the land that the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. The word of the Lord. Yes. Psalm 119, verses 1 through 8, found in your bulletin on page 2 or in the Book of Common Prayer on page 763. I will read to the asterisk. Happy are they whose ways is blameless. Happy are they who observe their decrees. who never do any wrong. You lay down your commandments. Oh, that my ways were made so direct. Then I should be not, sh sorry, then I should be put not to shame. I will thank you with an unseen heart I will keep your statutes. The second lesson is taken from the New Testament. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1 through 9. And so, brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but rather as people of the flesh as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. Even now, you are still not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For as long as there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving according to human inclinations? For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, 
as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labor of each. For we are God's servants working together. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord.